$2,080 uh, for the Catherine Violet Hubbard Animal Sanctuary. Mary Ann Gambacorda, uh, who is uh, driving for the Ovarian Cancer Research Fund Alliance, second. Megan Sernell, who will be up here, is third. He's raising money for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Disease Research. Gail McLean is fourth. She is uh, racing for the Alzheimer's Association and Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. And rounding out the top five so far is Tiffany Spinato, who will be, uh, has raised $425 for the Disabled American Veteran. We also want to mention that the drivers from the Valente Modified Race Series are asked to report to Autograph Alley for the autograph session immediately, please. You realize that they just got off the racetrack, and our honorary starter just gives them the green flag, and it doesn't take long at all for Stephen Medford to quickly move into the number one spot. But it's side-by-side -side racing, and the story is going to be a battle on the outside on who's going to gain the most momentum. R.J. Sardell looks racy. Clement goes to the top side. As they come off turn number four, six cars run under a blanket as they rumble back to the line. But the driver with the volcano acid, that is Stephen Bickford in car number 23. A double file battle for now, it's a triple file battle. Three wide, coming out of turn number two. Who will get fried? An aggressive move by Alexandra Fern and caught in the vice in the middle is R.J. Sardell, who lunges backwards. R.J. Sardell settles back in for the fourth spot. Meanwhile, Clement works the magic of his own in the outside groove. Number 22 is also coming forward to the front of the field. That's Gary Padnode, but a bit for the lead. Alexandra Fern clicked off the quickest lap of the race, 22.798. Car number 12 uh, becomes the brand new leader of the event. Meanwhile, right there in his back bumper is Stephen Midford, and we've got the guy who's running up front of the point in a dogfight battle. Matt, with RJ Sardell, Lavoie in the color red, the red rocket sled, moves to the inside. He'll take over position number three. And the red rocket blisters his way into the top three. Here comes Wayne Provost. He's usually quiet in the first half of races, but not tonight as he is able to blockbuster his way underneath Sardell to invade the top four. There's no question about it, the rumble is there. And of course, right there with him also, and trying to make the move, it is Ryan Fern with car number 92. He is one spot away from picking up yet another position in this quest to get to the front of the pack. But there's no question about it, it's Alexandra Fern who has the field covered. 22.01. As they rabble rouse their way off the corner. Uh, it was a good battle for Justin Brent as he gets by that note. But Brent is out of the cellar. He is in eighth place. Things are tightening up in the fight for second. Here comes Lavoie. He has inside leverage against Pitford, and he is going to shotgun his way into the top two. There's no question about it. Lavoie is a man with a mission. He's not thinking about points now, and the Aspen Hill Farms car has plenty of giddy up as it moves into position number two. Provost is a former champion, smooth as glass. He comes to the front of the field. We've watched him on many an occasion, Matt. He usually comes out about the halfway marker in the main event. But tonight, he is running stronger than we've seen him run in quite some time as he sets in the third spot. Meanwhile, further back in the field, all of a sudden, Ryan Fern decides it's go time. Seven of the 20 laps are now into the record books. He moves down underneath R.J. Sardell. They swap bank, they, they bing and they bang as they work their magic and get to turn one. And it is a 92 of Fern who's able to take the spot away from Sardell on her own island is Alexandra Fern. And I think because she was so strong early on, it changed the strategy of Wayne Provost. He is going after Lavoie in the fight for second. Fourth belongs to Midford, so he is still having a great run. But uh, having a Labor Day picnic is Alexandra Fern. And she is leading by about a tractor trailer over the second place car, Jeremy Lavoie. And I think Lavoie is thinking about the big picture. So things are looking good for him at the halfway mark as he is leading by about the length of an ironing board over the 88 of Provost. But it is Fern hitting her marks, and she is having a joyride. Her brother making a move underneath Bitford. 
This is a battle for fourth, and Ryan Fern makes it look easy. He certainly does, Matt. He puts the hammer down and comes off the turn, and the neon yellow and orange race car makes its presence known. Up to position number four. Meanwhile, further back in the field, there's another good battle going on between Sardell and the man that won just one week ago. Eleven circuits remain out of 11 circuits complete out of 20 laps. Autograph Alley is just starting to open up for the modified racing series. Kyle Ricky will be down there interviewing some of the top drivers in the Valente Modified Racing Series in just a few moments. Head on down and get your free autographs, your uh, hero cards, and much, much more. And Jeremy Lavoie trying to pull away from Provost. The driver who has passed more cars than anyone since this race started has been Ryan Byrne. Remember, he started ninth in the field. He is now fourth, but he has a long ways to go to catch up to the back bumper of the Dwayne Provost car. He certainly does, but he seems to be closing up the gap rather nicely. Ryan Fern clicked off the quickest lap of the race, and that was a 21.928 with car number 92. But simply that means is he is closing up the gap and gaining on it. 14 of 20 circuits now into the record books. They head down the back straight away. And Alexandra Fern, the young lady who is going to school now, is the leader of the back. LaVoy can wheel a man, little cat and mouse going, like a Tom and Jerry cartoon, in a bid to try to close up the gap on the leader. And he is. That lead is starting to shrink. So what was a substantial lead has now turned into a cliffhanger between Alexandra Fern and Jeremy Lavoie. It's been a while since Jeremy Lavoie has been able to get a win. There is two and a half miles left in the competition. That's five circuits around the half mile here in Stafford. And the first feature event of the night is about to go into the record books. It's good racing up front. Nobody's giving an inch, Matt. About the same margin separates first from second, from second from third. But still, the quickest car in the house is Fern, and that's the yellow car, and he is moving in. But the clock is ticking. 17 up on the board. A mile and a half left remaining in the racing action here. But that is enough time for Lavoie and Provost to work their magic if their cars will cooperate. They zip drive there off the corner, and the lead continues to shriek for Alexander Fern. Two laps to go. And her lead was as big as a sequoia tree. Now it's about down to a tongue depressor. It certainly has, Matt. And, of course, it continues to get smaller and smaller as they rumble down the back straightaway. John Gates is in Autograph Alley, and he'll be talking with the top drivers for the modified racing series presented by Valente. But the white flag is out, and there is no surrendering in the battle for the lead up front. Alexander Fern has been the dominant car, Matt, but there's still three turns left to create some magic and create some noise. Jeremy Lavoie trying to move in. Provost trying to move in. Ryan Fern trying to move in on Provost. But here is Alexander Fern, one turn away from victory. Checkered flags are out, and Alexander Fern will take down the impressive win. Jeremy Lavoie will finish in second. Wayne Provost is third. Ryan Fern will finish in the fourth spot. Stephen Midford will round out the top. I'll bet Alexander Fern back in, back in, back in the victory lane here at Stafford Speedway. How good does it feel for the part-time speed to get that win here tonight? Uh, it definitely feels really good because we obviously had uh, not as many chances as everybody else to get here. Um, after last week, we had to work extra hard. And I, we, we did it. We did this. This is something that I'm really proud of and something that we've wanted all year because we've been fast. It's just, you know, um, stuff doesn't go our way, but that's okay. And, of course, that Lincoln, ta Lincoln Tech hat looks pretty good today, too. Yeah, it sure does. Um, and, I, I, like I said, last week was pretty ugly, so I can't thank everybody enough who made this possible. My car owner, Amadeo, he's the man. Um, my dad, my mom, John G. Powers, Jonathan Williams, Sue, <laughs> Whip, everybody, Dave, everybody who helps out this. I really appreciate it because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. I, I mean it. Um, and also my sponsors, Safe Foam, Rad Auto Machine, Whip Sporting Goods. Um, yeah, Stafford Motor Speedway, Lincoln Tech, Williams Race Gears, everyone who gets us here, it's we're here because of them. That's Alexandra Fern, winner tonight.
in the limited late models. The man that finished second tonight, Jeremy Lavoie, looked as though you were in the running to pick up another win this season. What else did you need to catch that lady over there in victory lane? Yeah, I needed a couple more adjustments in the car. We were getting loose at the end. Uh, I was able to catch her, and uh, we all know that's one thing, and getting around her is the other, you know, the hardest thing. So congrats to her. She's had an up and down season all year. Bunch of second place finishes. Uh, car's been in the fence a couple times, so it's good to see her put it in the, in the winner's circle here. And, uh, you know, I did what I had to do. I, I finished on the podium, and uh, the guy second and third in points ended up behind me. So I'll take that as a positive tonight. And uh, I can't thank my family enough. They bust their butts on this car every week. Without them, I wouldn't be here. Uh, i got to send a special thank you to my grandfather. Uh, I usually miss him in, uh, when I'm in victory lane or on the podium, so I can't miss him tonight. i got to thank my sister as well. So uh, the sponsors on the car, Aspen Hill Farm, LNS Equipment, uh, Jeans Ford and Chevy, P2 Perry Powder Coatings and Delivery Solutions, LLC. Without their support, uh, we wouldn't have the car here either. So I got to thank everybody here at the track, every, all the fans for coming out every week, and uh, we'll see if we can finish up this year strong. All right, that's Jeremy Lavoy, runner-up. Here tonight, third place finisher, coming off a 10th place a week ago, Dwayne Provost, a pretty good recovery for your team. Yeah, thanks. It was a pretty good run and pretty uh, uneventful. It was nice, uh, uh, no, no contact with anybody and uh, no damage. So I got an easy, nice vacation weekend um, coming up. So uh, look forward to, uh, to relaxing. All right, enjoy the rest of the night. Dwayne here tonight, and uh, we'll send it down to the midway to John Gates for one more comment from Dwayne. Yeah, just want to thank a couple sponsors. Uh, Team Lincoln Ludlow, uh, Jolly Joe K, uh, Polka Pop Tips, and uh, Michael Vicini Ficini Law Firm. Thanks. Thanks a bunch, Dwayne. Let's head over to the midway and join John Gates. Okay, John.